Hey everyone, welcome back to this video series on the REST Assured API tutorials. Okay, so um, today uh, I'm going to show you how you can validate your response headers. Now, it is it also forms a very important part of your testing, right? Because a lot of important information is also passed on by the server in the form of headers, right? So you need to validate these, um, some of the headers information when you are testing your uh, RESTful APIs, okay? So let's go ahead and create some new test methods which are going to validate our response headers for uh, this weather API, okay? So before that, uh, let's see how we can actually view all the headers right, which are present in our uh, REST APIs. So for that, you can use the, again, the log method from the REST, REST, uh, REST assured. But uh, you, instead of printing the whole response body, you can actually print the headers. So let's see how you can do that. So I'll just name this validate headers. Okay. And this part will remain same, right? So till given and till then the request, uh, the request will remain same, right? After that, you need to write the log method, okay? And once you have the log method, you will see there are different methods which are available here, right? So you can print any of these uh, different logs right so body we have seen already body um right everything will print everything or uh, you can also print the cookies if you want right so there are so many methods we'll be using the headers method right now okay so this will print all the headers present in our response body so let's see Okay, so these are the headers which are present in our response, API response. Now, obviously uh, there are many headers, but it's not necessary to always um, kind of verify uh, everything, but depends on your scenarios. But for uh, this particular video, I'll be validating the server, right? Which is OpenDST. And then I'll be validating the content type, which is application slash station, right? So, the content type uh, actually tells you like uh, what kind of response would be uh, returned by your server, right? So if it is application slash JSON, it will return in the JSON format. It is XML, it will return in the XML. Or if it is um, HTML, it will return in the HTML format, right? So there are different um, response types and based on the content type header, it will be returning you the response in that particular format. Okay, so it's kind of important to uh, verify the content type, whether it is application slash JSON, which is expected. And then you can also verify something like server, right? So I'll just copy this, right? Because we'll be uh, using this uh, in our next test. Okay, so let's write our next test here I will be verifying validate um, so I will say uh, server header right so let's first verify the server header now again uh, the then part would remain same for this method as well, right? After that, what we will be doing, we'll be using a new method right now. So I'm going to use a method called assert that, right? It's part of the REST Assured API, right? And it provides us some methods through which you can validate a few things on your REST API, okay? So what are these? Uh, we can obviously we'll be using the header uh, validation here, but you can also, as you can see, you can also verify the status code, status line, right? And there are a few other methods available in this. You can also log, assert it, okay? 
So I'll be using uh, the header method here. Uh, we need to pass the expected and actual strings here, right? So uh, our first header, header um, kind of node is server. And then the value is, um, the value is, let me just take it, open this D, right? Yeah. Now it's not necessary to pick um, these values from the response uh, logs, right? Because these uh, you'll be getting in your requirements basically. Um, in real time, uh, you will be already knowing these values that server should be this. So you will be validating here. But since um, I'm using an um, kind of example for this particular video, so that's why I'm picking this from the logs, okay? So this will kind of uh, verify your header for the server value okay it's very simple just use the assert that method and then uh, you can bring the header where you'll be passing the expected and the actual value or um, sorry not uh, expected and actual but actually the node which is server and then the value which should be open list right and then um, we will create another method, right? We'll validating the content type. So content type header. Here, um, again, the same way we need to do. Instead of uh, the server, we'll be passing another node, which is, um, just a minute. I just need to copy this, right? Yeah. So instead of server, we'll be passing here content type, right? So this is content type, and then we need to pass on the whole value here because uh, this assert method will directly do a straightforward comparison, right? Now, there are other ways of comparison as well, right? You can form your own assert methods. You can get all the headers and then uh, extract um, extract particular headers from your uh, response body and then validate it um, based on your own assertions. But uh, that would include a lot of code, right? So this is a easy way of doing it, uh, directly using the methods provided by the rest assured, okay? so. This is going to verify our content type and this is going to verify our server, right? So let's execute both these methods and uh, we will see if it is validating or not, right? Okay, so uh, the session has passed for the server header. Now, if you want, you can also print their value, uh, which you are getting uh, from your response. But we have already seen that in the logs, right? So if you want, you can still print it while before you're validating your um, response headers, okay? So this for the uh, content type header, and it is going to validate it uh, with the value which we have provided. So that's also passed, right? So similarly, um, you can validate um, all the different headers which are present uh, in your response body. You can write different methods, but for this, you can use the assert that, which is pretty easy because you just need to provide the header uh, node and the value from the, which should be present in the response body, right? So, right. Um, so that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you have any comments or feedback, please leave it in the comment section of this video. And I will see you in the next video where we'll learn more about the rest of the uh, API, right? So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.